In today's video, we are talking about finding your Goldilocks zone for fat loss. This is an energy range at which you're gonna lose weight at a sustainable rate without kind of losing your mind. So your calories will be low enough to produce sustainable fat loss, but they'll be high enough so that you can thrive. And interestingly, when you get yourself into this Goldilocks zone, you have a lot of choice. So you can choose higher low carb, you can choose five meals or two meals, as long as you're kind of getting this right, you are going to be crushing it. So I'm gonna tell you about this little camel here. So we have total daily energy expenditure, how much energy you use to maintain your body weight over the course of a day. And then we have your basal metabolic rate, which is just the basics that your organs are using just to survive if you didn't move from your bed all day. So for the average female woman in America, it's a, the BMR is about 1300, and the average resting ex energy, uh, total energy expenditure is actually about 2300. Now. This comes down when you're dieting, if you're lighter, if you're in an active, and in the real world, the, the Goldilocks zone, when you're working with clients, tends to be a little bit lower than you would have hoped. But in theory, you know, women should be able to, lots of women, an average woman should lose weight really well in here, about 17, 18, 1900, in theory. When you start working with women, you'll realize that you often have to come considerably lower. So for a very typical woman, I would say the Goldilocks zone typically is, you know, could be somewhere from say 1300 up to about 1600 is where I find a lot of joy, right? So this would be the Goldilocks zone. When you get down here, yes, you can, if you know what you're doing and your nutrition skills are really good and you know how to do nutrient dense kind of aggressive dieting, you can go down here, but it's much more skillful. It's more taxing on the body. It doesn't support really good recovery for training. So people tend to end up working out in here. And now the Goldilocks zone that I'm talking about is if we multiply that number by seven and get our weekly. So let's take 1400, multiply it by seven, you get up near 10,000. I think it's 9,800. Um, you know, 1200 by seven would be 714. So no, 1300 by seven would be closer to 9,000. And then 1500 by seven would be pushing up to the 11,000, 12,000 range. So I would say, for a typical female client, if she can get kind of 10,000 calories in for the week and then eat enough protein each day, you know, her target body weight times 0.8, target body weight in pounds times 0.8 for protein, this is a wonderful, wonderful Goldilocks zone. So what you're trying to do is get your weekly calories into that Goldilocks zone where you will be under your total daily energy expenditure, so you'll be losing that pound, pound and a half a week, but you'll be you know, eating enough food to support your exercise and to feel decent, to make sure there's enough nutrition in what you're eating, and that is gonna be your Goldilocks zone for fat loss. Now, for guys, these numbers are a little bit different. I'll, I'll just do a really quick example. Um, the distribution looks like this in men. I think it's 3,100 for the average American man, and the resting metabolic rate is about 1,700. So. You would think that most men could lose well at two and a half thousand calories, but when you start working with men, you'll find it much more efficient to generally have them losing down around 2,000, which is 14,000 for the week. And if you've got good nutrition skills and you know how to eat, eat your protein and eat tons of veggies, lots of guys can thrive a little bit lower than that um, and speed along the fat loss process, um, you know, down at 1600, 1700, 1800, and then when you go really down, well, you know, people really struggle to sustain it. They, they don't, can't support their, uh, their training, and you know, that's what happens. So, the Goldilocks zone for fat loss. Find where your daily calories need to be, to be able to produce sustainable fat loss. Multiply it by seven. Female example might be 1400 times seven will bring us to 10,000. Male example might be 2000 times seven brings us to 14,000. If you get into that Goldilocks zone, regardless of what you're doing with exercise, regardless of what you're doing with carbs or fats, regardless of what you're doing with meal timing, um, you're gonna lose weight and you're gonna have great success. So that should be your focus. Um, if you enjoyed that, shoot me a question, or um, if you'd like some help losing weight, check out my coaching offer. Otherwise, I will talk to you again another day.